Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I've actually made this galaxy inspired hedgehog. I said I'll do a hedgehog for TobyTube on my like comment section for the longest of times. And I also asked you guys what kind of pattern you'd like to see last night on a poll and you guys said galaxy. So that explains the galaxy hedgehog theme for today. So anyway, taking a block of memory foam, I'll just draw out the kind of side profile of a hedgehog with some little feet on. And then on the bottom, I decided to draw two rectangle lines to make where I wanted the feet to line up. I then just kind of snipped away all the excess bits and until I was left with four little feet on the very base of the hedgehog. What I then went ahead and did was just chopped off all around that shape I originally drew and then what I did was I kind of like cut inwards making a kind of point on the very front of the hedgehog's face to make the little nose snouty part of the hedgehog. I also made sure to leave a little kind of ball on the end of that piece so that the hedgehog had a little nose and then I just kind of started shaping away at the body to make it nice and round and chubby. I did do major like big snips on this bit so that it wasn't smooth because I didn't want to smooth out the shape and I didn't want it to be spiky. I just kind of wanted it to be a bit rough around the edges to make it look like there was some texture. I really did smooth out the face part though, making that nice and smooth with short snips of my scissors to make sure that it was as smooth as possible. So once the shape was completely done and I was 100% happy with it, I just popped it onto a metal skewer which is just, you know, used for barbecuing and everything. And I then took some puffy paint and just painted the whole entire thing in that. This is actually just white puffy paint mixed in with a tiny PVA glue and I just painted the whole entire thing of it and left it to dry. I did three layers of this in total, leaving it to dry in between. So next on the fourth layer, I actually added some black puffy paint into some white puffy paint mixture again. I was going to do a, another layer of the white, but then I decided that black would be a better kind of base. But it did turn a bit grey with it being white already, which I should have expected. But I didn't have enough black puffy paint to make it even blacker. So yeah, I just did a darker base on the whole entire thing. I also switched up my tool and used this sponge that was just on a stick. It's just from like one of those cheap craft sets. And this actually worked really well getting into all the creases of the kind of texture on the back of the hedgehog. So once this colour was then completely dry, I actually just went ahead with some purples and pinks and blues and just kind of spread that out all over the hedgehog's main body and just like wanted to create a galaxy-like effect. So I did of course cover the whole of the back in this design as well as on the bottom and the belly of the hedgehog as well as the legs and I also actually popped a little bit of colour on the nose also. Once all that colour was then completely dry and covered I then just went in with my dotting tool and some white puffy paint again and I just put dots and stars and stuff all over to kind of imitate a galaxy like effect. I also went in with the same white puffy paint and just painted the whole of the front section of the hedgehog's face and I just did this straight out of the tube of puffy paint and yeah I just really just painted it on with that to save me kind of using any paint brushes and leaving any paint strokes in the kind of face part. So what I then did was I left that to dry and then taking some black puffy paint with my dotting tool again I just popped on two little eyes. When I say little they were actually quite big. <laughs> I wanted to do kind of a different typeface for you guys today so I didn't put a mouth or anything like that on it, I stuck to the nose, I don't actually like noses that much on things which is kind of weird, but yeah I just painted the eyes on quite big and added some highlight into those with a dot of white puffy paint on each. So once all the face and everything like that was then dry, my squishy was then complete. So I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. I think it's chubby body works so well with the Galaxy. So thank you guys for choosing that one. It was a poll between Rainbow and Galaxy. And yeah, I'm just really happy that this one turned out so well. 
As you can see, it squishes so, so nicely. It's turned out super soft and it is quite slow rising also, which I'm really happy with. It's not hard at all. I know sometimes that I do put a tiny bit too much PVA in and sometimes they can actually be quite tough. But this one here is super soft and I just think it's come out so cute. Just look at it. I just think it looks like a cute little pet. Let me know down in the comments down below if you have a little name for this guy. I'm going to say that he's a little boy. So some little boy names or, you know, any type names will do. I just think it just looks so cute and I'm so in love with it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up as it does help me along my way. And also just check out my nails. They just match this headlock so perfectly. Anyway, bye. <laughs>